Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Journey Marie, and today we're going to be reacting to The Sopranos, Season 3, Episodes 3 and 4. Um, Livia died, which is kind of bittersweet because she was actually a really good character, even though, you know, I would act annoyed with her and everything. She was annoying, but she was also entertaining, and, and yeah, Tony's going through it. His mom just died. Um, they had the funeral. Janice freaking turned it into... Janice world and just tried to be the center of attention and just she was just doing too much she did everything that Tony didn't want to do and she just made it super awkward and then people started opening up about what the mom really was like she was she was she wasn't the greatest person and they started being honest yeah I'm excited to see what happens next how Tony is mentally and whatnot and yeah i'm excited to get into it just make sure you subscribe to my channel if you watch my videos and you're not subscribed yet i really really appreciate it so let's get straight to today's reaction all right i'll be there prissy and plus it was a bitch getting off of work tonight shh adriana i think this could be it what he told me to look sharp and meet him at models in half an hour does he think he's gonna like get promoted or is he like gonna be made so, so now can we get out of here? You know, get a big loft maybe? You're giving notice today. You wish. At least he, she's super supportive. I don't know. You getting called like this and going off all happy. I worry, that's all. You've seen too many movies. What, you think he gonna get off or something? You look good. Shoot your cuffs. Where we going, so This is kind of suspicious. All right. <laughs> he sat on one ass cheek the whole way over. So <laughs> many fucking movies, that's his problem. He was scared. All right, finish up over there. What was he doing with the light? There's no getting out. Family comes before everything else. Everything. Before your wife and your children and your mother and your father. Jeez. Because that's part of it. If you've got a problem, you just got to let somebody know. This man right here. He's like your father. I mean, what's really going to change? I feel like he's already really been in the family. A blood oath? That crow is looking at you. That's St. Peter, my family saint. Now, as that card burns, so may your soul burn in hell if you betray your friends and the family. Interesting ritual. May I burn in hell? May, may I, I burn, burn in hell? hell? If I betray my friends. If, if I, I betray, betray my, my friends. friends. Congratulations. I wonder if Chris is still worried about that dream he had. Oh, you mean about my mother? Well, I mean, what are you going to do? You pick up the pieces and you go on. I mind your spells. You look like he acting. How do you know about that the fuck over there in New York? Everybody knows. There's nothing to be ashamed of, Tony. For Christ's sake, Julius Caesar was an epileptic. Not an epileptic. What? <laughs> the psychiatrist helping. Oh, you know about that, too. So what? There's no stigmata these days. My kid saw a shrink. He got caught order for that thing with his wife. They're very happy now. What about happened to privacy? So everybody knows about him now? Take care of this for me, okay? All right, come on. Why fuck around? Be a better friend to yourself. I will. Sex is good advice. From some young kid. Drew. They wanted to know when you were coming home. And how do you sound? Like he was about 15 years old. <laughs> Leave her alone. Beyonce. He's 19, actually, and uh, he can go all night. Ew, he's 19. Cougar. Falling down house in some old lady underwear. Sad, isn't it? What it all comes down to. Janice, you know how much we love you. 
And you know how much we love having you around. <laughs> yeah, well, I talked to her. She's moving out tomorrow, maybe the next day. Really? Yeah. Great. I'm surprised she still want to live in her mom's house where she freaking killed her, killed Richie. Jesus Christ. Let me come around. How you doing, Roy? Chris probably feel like the man right now. It's a pure cash operation. And the beauty part is, I mean, who's going to stop you? Kids? Campus security? What do you tell them about that? That's ours. Not anymore. Watch where the fuck you're going. Kiss my ass. Hey! Take that shit outside, fucking asshole. I know where you live. You hear what I said? Damn. Yo, it's good talking to you, Chris. Keep Dino on mine. I want to sound like an asshole, but I really can't be seen in a place like this anymore. Chris, please talk about you can't be seen. This has got to start showing results or end. Now, I talked to a business associate of mine, a man I respect, about these panic attacks. Enough fucking around. Enough money in your pocket. What's the story here? Boy, if she tell you the truth, you just go and flip out. If you feel you're ready, you could see a behaviorist. What, what do you mean? Talk to somebody else? You seem unhappy with my approach. He trusts her. He don't want to talk to nobody else. Delve deeper. Focus. This latest incident, for starters. All right. Fine. He not ready for this. My daughter brought home a black. This is where we go with this? And? And uh, she went upstairs, and I had a frank conversation with Buckwheat. <laughs> Buckwheat! No, no, not right then. I uh, went into the kitchen to fix a sandwich. I opened the cabinet. I saw a box of Uncle Ben's rice. And it made you feel bad for being racist. You were grilling meat, weren't you? The memory on you. <laughs> <laughs> Sausages, wasn't it? Sausages, steaks, yep. Well, let's get back to that gobble ghoul. She think it's related to food? Yeah. 50? It's pretty rich for one game. I, if it's good for it, take it. She said you gotta take this serious, Tony. You can't be taking phone calls. Mom said the place she's waiting for the meat. Did Jackie Jr. show yet? I don't know. It's a little fuck. Promise his mother he'd be here. What's your language in front of my kid? Oh, please, Tony. I'm safe to this kid. That's because I'm in love with his mom. <laughs> what are we talking about? Hey, AJ. Cheerleaders, any hotties, huh? There's no cheerleaders for freshman ball. Damn, AJ. Such an attitude. You are very late, young man. It's me. Meadow, hi, babe. Who is it? It's Meadow. He didn't just hear her say that? What's going on there? No, oh, Sunday dinner. Yeah. So you want to talk to your father? He's outside. Burning a cross. Oh, she's still mad. Here, your brother wants to talk to you. No, I don't. <laughs> He's talking about no, I don't. Jackie, where are you? I can't make it. We're all waiting. You promised. Fuck it. Damn, rude. That's almost all of it. This is unacceptable. It's four thousand dollars there, Paulie. I'll have the other two in a couple of days. I thought I made myself clear. Six thousand minimum. I'm not running a school here, kid. Paulie, this is me. You know I'm good for it. Don't fucking drag it out front, you. This isn't about that. It's business. I'm gonna give you a couple extra days, but it's gonna cost you another two G's as a reminder not to fuck it up. I make myself clear? It's like being a mate, guy. It's harder. It's like more responsibility, more accountability. When I talk about Berkeley, she barely made it over to George Washington Bridge. We created too nice a home life for them. They don't want to go out in the world. But hey, if they're closer to us than we were with our parents. It's good that him and Artie are cool again. What time is it? I'm here, Rona. Out of respect to my father. He is rude. Lose the glasses. 
I'm gonna have some respect. I'm gonna say a few things. I'm gonna say some bad words. And you're just gonna have to deal with it. Oh, okay. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking I clipped your uncle. But I didn't. And I got some bad news for you. It's the truth. Look at me. Your uncle was a rat. No fucking way. Sam. Uh-oh. It's my father's brother you're talking about. Jackie, I'm a member of your family almost. You think I'm the only one that knows this about Richie? Tony's a good actor. This hurt all of us. You know how hard you have to work to get your MD? How many years it takes? I was even thinking maybe osteopathy. But I don't think I have the grades for that even. Well, you're not going to drop out of Rutgers, are you? I think he wants to join the business, kind of. I only did it because my dad was sick. But you should know. He never wanted this life for you. And I'll tell you something. I don't want it for my son either. I hope Junior never joins. But he's going through something. I told you they wouldn't make it. Are you fucking crazy, Rap? Are you fucking crazy? Calm down, it's a high school game. I get my hands on you, I'll rip your fucking heart out. Look, Anthony's going in. Yes. Anthony! Come on, baby. Come on. That's cute. I thought something was wrong with him. I thought he was paralyzed or something. Good job, AJ. Good job, good job. Good job, AJ. Hey, hey. It's my son. Period. Every day, hitting that sled till my shoulder was raw. But then you gotta reward yourself. So I'm gonna take you to stores and I'm gonna buy you some dogs. AJ seems like depressed. You wanna play some Nintendo? You and me? When are you gonna throw that friggin' thing out the friggin' window? Just play with him, Tony. Wait a minute. Play Nintendo. Okay. Let's go to Stewart's. Yeah? Yeah. You should have just played with him. That would have been sweet. Yeah. I need you home, Tony, for dinner. Not the mustard on the shirt. Pass the potatoes, please. Anthony, the potatoes? Oh, sorry. Anthony is so checked out. So, how was everybody's day today? Busy. Want to elaborate? No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. You were sitting right there. You said uh, either Harvard or West Point. No way I'd ever have said that. I could never get in. Is he failing out of school? Can we eat with the TV on? No. I gotta take that. My busy season. If you say my busy season one more time. Mom there? Hey, how are you? Is Mom there? Yeah, she's here. Give her the phone. Is mom there? Is that Meadow? Can I talk? Yeah, you can have her. Well, Tony, you shouldn't have been a racist a-hole. Feeling in me is she's not here to ask. I know. I'm sorry. Just, um, this is an emotional issue for me. Girl, no, it's not. Just promise me you'll sleep on it. I'll be scared to sleep in the same house as Janice. She's a killer. It was that bird. It was that fucking bird in the window. It was a coincidence. I was making good jack at that bedding parlor. I was in the fucking zone. He thinks he's been cursed. 
flapping around. And that's death, not bad luck. Will your mother loan me the money? She's still paying for a hysterectomy. It's that fucking tennis brace that I got you. Why don't you get rid of that stupid fucking Range Rover, which you shouldn't have even bought if you couldn't afford it? Ow! Oh, Lord. Here go their toxicness. Where's her leg? Did she steal her leg? Jonas! Jonas! She's like, I'll give you your leg back if you give me those records. Hello. Hello! Света! Это ебаная кабаника спит за мою ногу! She gonna get herself in trouble. Got his call yet? No. Hello, Tony. Well, hello. I have lost it weight. Cannot wear it no more. All in hour is in starts to her. I'm getting married. Did you know? You told me. She's getting married? I miss you so much. Why don't we just stick to the subject here? Your cousin's missing a leg. She's still in love with him. You don't even want to talk to me anymore. I don't see why we can't be friends. Because <laughs> you were his mistress? I don't even know what I'm doing here. Except you worked it this way. We could have talked about this leg thing on the phone. Janice put any food in there? No, but I have orange juice. I feel like he misses her too. Orange juice. Слушай, а как там тетя Тони из Перми? Как она поживает? Я разговаривала с дядей Мишей, помнишь его? He eats a lot of meat. I'm just not realizing. А как же тетя Тони? Ей же ведь тоже нужно приглашение. Я думаю, что ей уже ничего не нужно. А что с ней? Она лежит в больнице. Panic attack. Are you busy? Is somebody can get you, Junior? No, I'm good. Oh, that's Junior. Listen to your old man, Anthony. So this is where the trauma starts with the meat. Weasley, son of a bitch! You got payments you can't make? You come see me. Work out a plan. I swear, I got a vendor owes me 300. Shut the fuck up! Damn. You gonna back talk me now? Junior, get over here. No way, please! What are you gonna do? No! Anthony, what I fucking tell you? And Anthony saw that. What, your father never cut off anybody's pinky? That's traumatic for anyone to witness. He is so traumatized. It was a rush, if you want to know the truth. And you want me to delve? Go on. I'm like, was it really a rush or is he just trying to mask that he was scared? Dinner's ready. Come here. He was so cute. What I gotta say. A lot of boys your age would have run like a little girl. But you stayed. He felt like his dad was proud of him. But never gamble, Anthony. What was I supposed to do? That's my livelihood. So I put food on the table. I mean, he's being real with Anthony. Let this be a lesson to you. A man honors his debts. <laughs> Beautiful coffee scent. You like it standing with the bone. His mom was kind of cute. Oh, me. See, they look kind of cute here, even though I know that they're really toxic. <laughs> Take my arm. Johnny, let's eat while it's still hot. You bet, baby. 
She's like, that's enough. Some meat. Oh, wow. He had a panic attack all the way back then. The vegetable man, maybe. Probably the only time the old man got laid. Probably. Pretty sick, huh? Getting turned on by free cold cuts. Yeah, it was weird. That whole scene was kind of weird. Sure, it was too much for you then, too. That's why you short circuited puberty. Witnessing not only your mother and father's sexuality, but also the. Because why was they groping in front of their kids? And that one bite unleashed a tide of memories of his childhood and ultimately of his entire life. That's true. Sometimes you just gay. smell something. I hope you're not saying that. <laughs> what is he talking about? But sometimes you smell something and it just brings you back. Where? I got to bring these things over to med. Her Viking shoes. She's been missing my brujol. Can I come? Hey, we're watching the game. I can catch the game in the car. It's nice he wants to visit his sister. Tony just mad because he can't go. Because Meadow not talking to him. This is about Sambo, right? I'm paying for that goddamn college. I don't know what's going on over there. But if you want to make a big scene at your daughter's new college, then comb your hair and come right along. Embarrass her. Comb what hair? Let her drop out of there and go to a state school. Or maybe move back in here. I was just trying to protect her from herself. And I'll do that till the day I fucking die. Now you gotta live with the consequences. Can't talk to her. I'm not gonna tell you you can't come, Tony. She's your daughter. I'll probably watch the game. Yeah. As you should. If his pride wasn't so big, he could go over there and apologize to her. You got your favorite Santa Barbara album. Leave me to fuck alone. The hell? Hi, pardon me. Here she is. It's just like a mess. Meadow! We're here. It's a good thing Tony didn't come. Noah told me what Dad said to him. It's all out in the open, so fuck this. Let's watch the latrine lip. Oh, what'd Dad say? You don't want to know. Oh, I know what he said. Go. <laughs> He's so dumb. I'm always being something. Why do I bother going in there? Well, believe what you he like. called Noah things that are so disgusting and ugly, I can't even repeat it. You tell her. No, you are right. There is no excuse. Just lucky I didn't punch his fucking lights out. Because you're a civilized person. <laughs> okay, Noah. Calm down. The rest of the world should work around his racist, retrograde, fucking asshole personality. It comes from a place and a time. That's no excuse. Coming from a racially mixed marriage, I'm sure that's been a difficult burden to shoulder. Don't slam his family background. Look what you wound up in. Oh, damn. Well, would you excuse us a moment? I would like a word with my daughter. I'm not going anywhere unless she wants me to. No one got some balls. Is no one finna steal metal from his, from her family? Took him a while, but he caught on. But he keeps his opinions to himself. Unlike some people, he's a brilliant and sensitive person. Okay, metal, calm down. No one should have tried to get the mom to like him at least, but he was being kind of rude. You must be the famous spill. It's moving day, huh? Oh, I didn't think you would have the nerve to show your face to me. Why? What happened? What's wrong? She gonna act like she didn't take the leg. What possible use would I have for your leg? Because you think that will make me give records back, but you are wrong. If you see some karmic connection between your taking my mother's record. Janice is so annoying. I don't know how you can live with yourself. Bill, don't waste breath. This cunt is gonna be sorry she ever fuck with me. You don't mess with Russians. Now when your house blow up, don't be surprised. We were gonna jack a benefit concert out there tonight. Jewel and Amnesty International. You know the details? You make it work without Dino? It was my fucking idea. 
I knew he was going to join the business. And Tony told Chris to look out for him, not freaking do a job with him. I don't think I'm going to go. What, college? Of course you will. I don't want to talk about it right now. The way he was looking at all those kids and stuff, I could tell. I'll bring you her underpants. Oh, wow, not the scream mask. What is he going through? Most people charged it to their student card. Hey, what's going on? You? Shut up! Shut up! You say one word on that fucking thing and you're dead! Why did he shoot? Did he piss himself? Jackie hyped us to a score at the Rutgers campus. Not bad. What's the matter, Chrissy? Tell Uncle Paul. This being made ain't working out the way I thought it would. He thought it would be easy. Jackie April? He had something to do with this thing in the papers? Don't worry. Junior was only the wheel man. I specifically told Christopher to leave the kid the fuck out. Yep, he don't listen. He better answer that damn phone. When the call came, he brought his A-game. This young man may have a big future ahead of him. He may be a leader. And that's what it takes. Oh, that was sweet. He deserves it. All right, all right. So let's hit those showers one thought in mind. What is going on with him? I guess he's in inheriting his dad's freaking panic attacks. Tom, will you get that? Hello. Tony, it's me. Don't hang up. This girl will not give it a break. Oh, I'm here for you. You can answer this phone. Please, you are so conceited. Do you really think I want to call you? I think you're drinking and dialing. I can smell the vanilla stoli from here. He knows her well. Tony, please. I miss you so much. Can't you come over here? Don't ever call here again. What is she thinking? I thought she was getting married. Richard, Richard. No, seriously. You really want to know? He had a real breakthrough last week. Yeah, breakthrough what? Somebody's jaw? Boy. Hollywood tries to give these sociopaths the tragic grandeur of Al Pacino. You know, he's an expert at this, Jen. The guy's conning. Condescend to me, Richard. It gets me so hot. <laughs> I feel like he's jealous of her and Tony's little relationship. Not if it threatens that straw house he's built inside his head to shelter his base criminality. It really concerns me you don't see this, Jen. I mean, pink slipped this guy. He's dangerous. She should have never talked about Tony to him in the first place. My log. Remember last week? You were going to keep a record. I asked you to write down any feelings of anxiety or memories of past things. Girl, he wasn't finna do that. Who's interested? Have you thought at all about that? How do people find the time? Uh... To get well? <laughs> Look, my mother's dead. I haven't had a panic attack since. You've gone months without them before. The conflicts that cause them and your depression are buried deep inside you. And they get triggered sometimes. Am I happy? You know, that's not even... Uh... Look, I'm sorry I didn't bring the lid. Just say you're not happy. We ought to think about bringing your wife into this. In here. Carmella. You're the one who wanted to take a more proactive... That would be interesting. Let's talk frankly. You demanded more of me. Fine. But you're not trying. He's not taking it seriously enough. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be safe, Jen. It's a basic human need. I know Richard's right. I should get Tony Soprano. Oh, shit. Oh, you're slipping up. He was just some button man. You, you wouldn't be treating him? Elliot, please, huh, with the terminology? Jennifer, you know psychotherapy is limited in the treatment of anxiety disorder. 
I feel like she's done all she could for him. Gain what insight he's able to absorb. It's it's time to send him on to a behaviorist. She don't want to let go until she fixes him herself. <coughs> but did they? They're not going to talk about Junior fainting in the last episode. Is she really searching for freaking gold in her mom's basement? Why'd you change the locks? The minute that Ukrainian dye job was out the door. Don't mess with the Russians, Janice. That's what I'm saying. From her cousin. Miss Petrograd carburetor works in 1987? I can't have it. Don't fuck with me on this, Janice. Get back the leg. Tony, those records are yours too. Don't try to make it about him. The World War II generation and their music exemplified by Ma. Who the fuck are you kidding? You're gonna sell them on the internet. <laughs> I have work to do. Yeah, right, cleaning up the cellar. Good luck finding the Lost Dutchman's gold mine, Janice. You make more money working a real job. She's a nut job. And he knows her pretty well. He can see right through all that bull ish. Uh, uh, uh. You finished? I want to meet my butt at the gym. I'm going to spar. He better stop looking at her. You know who's turning to a little mink, though? That metal soprano. You want to question a New Jersey business practice that goes back 70 years? Uh-oh. What is all this, Rafi? I had to stick a shish kebab up your ass. <laughs> that was kind of racist. This young buck. He'll fuck your wife until she moans. Fucking what? Oh, Lord. Fuck you, call me. You bring my wife into this? Huh? Put it down. Huh? Huh? Hey, mister, come on. Hey. Ooh. You all righty, get you? Fucking asshole. Fool this prick. In the bread basket. So oh, he's in the business now. You ought to take an anger management course. Uh, fucking racial slurs. Why are you doing this to me? Jesus. Uh, let's go, kid. He liked that a little too much. Tony Soprano. Oh my God, what's wrong with me? I'm a mess here with the moving. Come in, I'll get John. It's a nice house. You should have fucking told me. Oh, Tony, I'm telling you now, uh, this is strictly a place for me to live. I mean, there's our family, and then there's the Soprano family. It's like competition. It's harder than this other shit we do, the garbage room, whatever. Like my first marriage and my kid, Justin. Ralphie, I got some news you're not gonna like. I realize he just cut him off in the middle of his story. Because I got him too. But also, you pardon up with Joe Brooklyn at the shit at the port? Come on. To me, that was a bum decision. The bottom line speaks loudest. I'm earning my ass off for you. It's my decision. He's not promoting you, sir. Sorry. Price, Tom. I eat dinner at your house. It's just business. It's not personal. Since we last met, I've been thinking about your course of therapy. You're a doctor. Just because of what happened last time? It's like a breakup. Look, I'm sorry, but like you said, it, it's hard to think about that stuff. I realize that. You know, you're fucking unbelievable. I asked you to get serious in here. Here we go with the outbursts. On somebody else. I'm just introducing the idea. He's hurt. Listen, I told you I would discharge him, and I will in my own good time. She not ready to let him go either. I'm going into the garage. I'm going to lose you. I'll see you later. Something bad's gonna happen. Shut up. I got a knife. I'll cut you, bitch. Ooh, period. Who is this asshole? Oh, give me all my money. The hell? I was not expecting this. <laughs> this 
was a turn of events. What the hell? He told you that they, they caught him? Thank God. We apprehended somebody with the description out of Popeye's chicken, not far from the scene. So he assaulted her and went to go get some damn Popeye's. I'm gonna kill these motherfuckers. Jason. Fuck it, Dad! You know, the whole world is a fucking sore. It's nothing but a fucking sore. Right. It's a bunch of animals out there running wild. Okay. And they're fucking winning. This is a, this is a appropriate response from a son, you know, who wants to protect his mom. My knee got the worst of it, but I'll be up in a bout in a couple of days. Well, I'll tell him. You stay off of it and you take care. Who ate the last piece of cake? <laughs> Tony, shut up. For giving him the message. It's got to be some marriage. Hello, Kate. Shut up about them. Tell them what? That was your therapist. Why don't you just announce it on WFAN? Shh. Shut up, Tony. Nobody worry about you. She has to cancel your next appointment. She all right? She said she was okay. She hurt her knee. Her knee? Really? Oh, he seems so concerned. I hope she don't need stitches. Stitches on the knee, eh? Never heal right. Any knee injury can be very serious. <laughs> he trying to play it off. He's worried about her. You would come into my therapy. Give you a perspective on the panic attacks and... Sure. I thought Carmela would be down for it. The rape. Right, Detective Pearsall was going to call when you were ready for us to come down for the lineup. What? They let the guy go? Contacting my attorney. Asshole. What happened? They mishandled the chain of custody, so they had to let him go. What? Damn. Stupid idiots. Did they just let him out until the trial? Because I can't identify him. It's a legal thing. I think they just have to let him skip. That's terrible. Give me the phone. I, I want to call them. I just told you everything he told me. Before or after you started cursing at him. True. Now she got to be scared that he might come after her again if he's just out there. Hello, Sergeant. Dick LaPena again. I want to apologize for losing my temper. But... Could I please have the phone? He was trying to apologize. There you are. They had to let him go. Yeah. What's that supposed to mean? Well, that's what the rape counselor woman told me. Deserted parking garages where a huge percentage of these attacks happen. I've heard that too. You blame me for what happened, don't you? Well, how many times did I tell you to call a security guard when you left work late? It wasn't late. Why would he say that to her? If I hadn't have been on the phone with you, Maybe I would have seen that guy in the stairwell. Damn. What difference does it make? Are you so ashamed of your background that any misdeed by an Italian somehow damages your self-esteem? Yeah. Whole fucking world's about your self-esteem. Or maybe you don't have enough. Y'all are gonna say a bunch of stuff y'all regret. Oh, fuck you, Richard. Jen. The only one who's to blame is the one who assaulted her. Y'all taking it out on each other and... But that's true, though. Make you feel like it reflects bad on you when other people of your race do stuff that's bad. Jersey's a small state. She moves in. She could tip it over. <laughs> <laughs> I like a woman you can grab onto something. You grab onto Ginny Sacramone, your fucking hands will disappear. Oh. Oh my God, they're so immature. Ginny holds ass. She's got to make two trips. <laughs> two guys can fuck her at the same time and still never meet. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dumb and disrespectful. What? What's so funny? Nothing. We're just talking about one of the girls. And they were talking about his wife, right? She should reach out to Tony because, you know, Tony will find that guy and get him. We both are. I just want to go find that bastard and kill him with these hands, Jen. Yeah. I fucking asked you to watch out for Jackie Jr. I forgot about them. They only drove. I said I was sorry. Let me tell you something, T. He was an asset. 
Pissed on the car seats, but he handled himself very good. No. <laughs> I can't believe he peed on himself. I didn't say that. Well, what else did you say? That the life's good enough for me, but not for little Lord Fuckpants? Don't take it personally. He's not like you. Like us. Because today they're bored, they're, they're spoiled. I don't know if they said anything too incriminating. I love you. You're a good boy. That's sweet. Damn, she gotta walk with a cane. She need to have an escort. Mm -mm. Jesus. What's your other guy look like? I hope he takes it easy on her now that she's hurt and don't be cussing her out. Oh, someone ran a stop sign on Eisenhower Parkway. It was just one of those things. I know a woman with one leg. Terrible thing. What is he bringing that up for? You into some behavioral therapy. I brought a couple of things for you to look at. I don't think she's healed enough to be doing this yet, physically or mentally. The title leaves something to be desired. Okay, it's just your, uh... That girl got PTSD. You want me to... It startled me, that's all. Maybe you came back to work too soon. It's better for me to be busy. All right. Think about other people's problems instead of your own. I'm okay. Really. And I appreciate your concern. <sighs> I feel like he's gonna be able to see right through her, like... You can't control everything that happens. But you can't get pissed off. And then what? Lose control? Who said anything about that? You direct your anger where it belongs. True. That's where behavioral therapy comes in. It can teach you to control those triggers. But it's normal to get angry. I heard about Ralph Sifferato, but he got passed over. You heard about what? Who? I'm just saying, Ralph. That's probably a smart move. I mean, the more I get to know him, he's kind of a cool guy, but... It's none of your fucking concern. That's all I say. You better buy his business. Hey, Jackie. What are you doing here? I'm waiting for you. They will be kind of cute together. African-Americans go to Columbia, Dad. Some of them are my friends. Friend my ass under a blanket on my couch watching television with his shoes off. With you. Oh, Lord. Don't worry, Tom. I won't say anything about the moon now. You just remember what we talked about. Tony's trying to control a bunch of stuff he can't control. He can't control Jackie and what he's going to do. He can't control Metal and who she's going to date. He had on a red hat. Her attacker. What made him just go out and do that for the first time ever out of nowhere? Like, what? He got bored with his regular life? No, ma'am, it's not working out. <laughs> the Russians! Wait a minute! Don't want continuation. You give us leg and we go. What leg? She's not gonna give the leg. What the fuck? Do you know who I am? Do you know who my brother is? Mother, what? What did you say? Mother, fuck! <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, she got a big mouth. Are you people really so callous? Fuck you. You are callous. I mean, you stole her leg. Your mom gave her those records fair and square. I don't really feel bad for her. Bad dream. Weird ass dream. What the hell? <laughs> she gonna have to unpack this with her damn therapist. Oh, 
Why well, I feel like the dog represents Tony. I didn't know that. I'm digging. Who do I dig with and who's dangerous? Who could I sick on that son of a bitch? Tony. To see that pig beg and plead and scream for his life because the justice system is fucked up, Elliot. Most definitely. Ernie looking into this at $300 an hour. But meanwhile, that employee of the month cops. Just living his life. No one's gonna stop him, you? Jennifer. I wouldn't blame her if she called Tony up. Civilization. Oh, don't worry. But that's not saying. There's not a certain satisfaction in knowing that I could have that asshole squashed like a bug. She sure could. She could call Tony up and he would get the job done ASAP. And I guess that's a comfort for her to know. And they broke three ribs. What did I tell you? Hmm? I told you not to mess with those people. He told you. I've been married at this point in my life. Yeah, so? The man I love died. You killed the man you love. This is all I fucking need. Thanks, Janice. Huh? What do you mean, what? They slapped my sister around. You gotta go get him. You never do anything to simplify my life. I stole a woman's prosthetic leg, Tony. When did I get like this? <laughs> she needs therapists. She needs therapy. I've hit bottom, Tony. But it's odd. Because I feel born again in the Lord. Oh, she is so annoying. She's like her mom 2.0. To forgive Svetlana for what she's done. Janice, we've been here before with uh, Vishnu and Richard fucking Albert. She'd have found all the gods. And you know what it always spells? Trouble for the rest of us. So put your fucking clothes on. Seriously. Because I got to get the fuck out of here. She be tripping. Give myself up utterly and totally to God. This is the bottom. If not, I feel like it's not the bottom for her. My God, this house. You already got one. Tell me what you already got one. Don't get any ideas. What we do in life echoes in eternity. Oh, he's fucking obsessed with Gladiator. Come on, it's a great fucking film. I do remember that from Gladiator. They use the money to fix the goddamn air traffic control. Fighting terrorism, that's what we should do. How about that fucking stampede in Zimbabwe? Why they look suspicious? <laughs> Tony sees everything. He be paying attention. And if they can help me there, you know, I should go there. Wow. No. You sure about that? She don't want him to leave. Is she about to tell him? Uh. What's the matter? Hey, 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 come on. She gonna tell him what happened to her? Hey, 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 hey. Come on. What? What are you? What's the matter? Tell me, what's the matter? Aww. It's okay, go on. You can't just go back to the regular session. What? I mean, you, you want to say something? Go kill that motherfucker who did this to me. No. She definitely wanted to say something real bad, but she couldn't let herself do it. Cause then she she'd be no better than him, really. So a lot happened in those episodes. Um, Chris. He's a made guy now and it's a lot more responsibility than he thought and him and Meadow, Meadow's not talking to him and whatnot. I don't really like Meadow's boyfriend anyway, to be honest, just because I feel like he should have been nice to Carmela and he should have tried to get her on his side at least, but he was kind of being like an a-hole and just like, I'm only going to leave if she wants me to leave, I guess. I mean, he's the one who was discriminated against in the first place, but we figured out that Tony has a weird trauma 
real connection to meet with his parents and he saw his dad do what he did to that guy. Um, Dr. Melfi ended up getting assaulted and yeah, it's, it's really sad. The guy got off and she really wants to tell Tony what's going on. She done broke down in the session. Like she's really going through it, but she can't let herself feed into that or like let her anger take over and tell Tony what happened and then because she knows Tony will go and find the guy and probably kill him so it's like she really wants to it's like but something in her won't let her you know she's a civilized person she's a therapist like she knows it's wrong she knows what she what she should do but she was close I feel like she was close in that last session to telling him like when she said no it seemed like she was doing it through gritted teeth like she really wanted to tell him but she was just like can't do it it won't something inside me won't let me go that far but um it was sweet that tony was there for her and he was like what's wrong I'm trying to comfort her and give her a hug and yeah i just i don't know how their relationship is going to go forward professionally maybe he will just have to go to a behavioral you know therapist but it seemed like she don't want to let him go even though she was acting like he needed to go to a different therapist she don't want to let him go and he don't want to go either they just have like this unhealthy connection and bond and trauma bond with each other. So yeah, I wonder how that's gonna go. If she's ever gonna tell Tony about what happened to her. I feel like she's gonna tell him someday, but maybe not. Jack, what's her name? <coughs> His sister, Janice. She's so annoying talking about she found God. She's just like her mom, like she plays victim. And then even though she was the one who stole the leg in the first place just because she wanted the records back. It's not like, Svetlana stole the records from her the mom gave it to her fair and square so she got beat up you know which I mean she kind of deserved and now she's found God which is probably not going to last very long um and yeah AJ fainted and we never got into we didn't even see him this episode but the last episode he had fainted so I don't know what's going on with that um I hope he's okay. I guess he's going to start having panic attacks like his dad. Just because the coach was saying nice stuff about him and like, just he's a leader. You know, he did really good in the last game. And I was like happy for him and proud of him. And then he just, I guess it was too much for him. And he fainted. So I hope we get more into what's going on with AJ. He's inherited his dad's depression and all that type of stuff. But let me know what y'all thought of these these episodes in the comments. Um, if you enjoyed my reaction, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.